Hey there, I'm Kirtan here again with an another special guest for College Zeros to Career Heroes podcast. So today I am here with a, a real estate king of South Bangalore, Mr. Santosh Burani, who is the CEO and founder of Burani Real Estate. So guys, today, do you believe that you need money in order to make money? So if you think like that, you really need to actually listen to this podcast, which is going to happen. And you are also going to discover how do you actually take out your passion and start making money even from that passion. So if you are really keen and interested to learn that, you must listen to this podcast. And let's see what Santosh is going to share with us today. Hi guys. So you must be wondering, uh, after BCom, being a BCom graduate, how come I came into real estate? So I'm going to share with you my secrets of my success story and do you really require money to make money? Yes, what he's saying is perfect. I did not require money to make money. This is what I'm going to share with you and much more secrets about my success story coming fast in the next podcast. Thank you. Yes. And please join us, um, dear friends, to that podcast. I'm really saying it's really going to add a lot of value to you. See you there at the podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Kirtan Prabhu. Welcome to the College Zeros to Career Heroes podcast. The podcast for those who want to make the difference in this world by living the career lifestyle of their choice. So in this series of podcasts, you are going to learn from some of the multi-millionaires, leading entrepreneurs, top singers, dancers, professional traders, and experts and so on. So in this power packed podcast, you are going to learn the best practices, tools, strategies which are inculcated by the successful people in this world to achieve the greater level of success. Welcome everybody. Welcome to the College Zeros to Career Heroes podcast. Today I am here with a new guest for this podcast that is Santosh Burani. He is the director of Burani Real Estate. So welcome you for the show sir. Thank you Kirtan. So uh, Santosh ji, uh, I have been knowing you for, from the past one, one and a half year. I actually met you in uh, BNI. So where I just wanted, I am just curious and also I wanted my, our reader's story. How did you started your journey as a businessman? Uh, the year 1990, I passed out of college and mm-hmm. uh, I did my BCom. So firstly, I wanted to explore how the world looks like. Mm-hmm. So I took up two uh, works, very ordinary works, mm-hmm. so that I get to know the groundwork of how it is to work and then get into in, in any kind of business. Mm-hmm. The first one was uh, I started selling telephone answering systems. Mm-hmm. Uh, my salary was 600 rupees per month. Mm-hmm. And I had to slog it all, all the day long and uh, managed to sell a couple of uh, telephone answering systems. But that, that gave me an experience and how it is to be a salesperson and mm-hmm. how difficult it is to actually sell. Mm-hmm. Uh, it gave me a lot of insight on that. And then I, uh, for next three months, I worked in another company, Spectre Gases Pi- Private Limited, where I had to run around and do all the field work. Mm-hmm. and I had to travel to Chennai to set up an office over there. Mm-hmm. Again, I was paid a mere 800 rupees per month. Mm-hmm. Both the uh, jobs gave me a lot of insight of what is really to be on the ground and do the these kinds of work. Okay, okay, okay. So that's really interesting, uh, uh, Burani ji. So where you started with the, when, when you were young, you started selling the things and then you got the insight and experience over it and then you actually came into real estate. How was that journey? Really? In fact, I didn't get into real estate. Uh-huh. So there was a five years gap. Uh, after doing both these businesses, mm-hmm. I joined my family business, which mm-hmm. is running a boutique. Okay. And that's a, it's a very, uh, uh, very well-known boutique in Kumar Park, Galaxy Tailors. Mm-hmm. So we have a staff of 30 tailors. Mm-hmm. So I, I went into that and managing the uh, place over there with my mother mm-hmm. was quite a experience. Uh, managing the staff over there, doing all the payments, going around to different cities and doing some purchases. Uh, but more of it, it was, you know, sitting in the place. So five years gave me a lot of experience mm-hmm. to do and uh, 
then my brother joined me my wife joined me my sister in law joined the company mm -hmm. and for me being on the field was more exciting than mm -hmm. sitting in one place okay okay that's the reason i said let me try out something mm -hmm. so on a part time level for half a day i used to go out and do real estate mm -hmm. and come back and sit in the boutique mm -hmm. but when i tasted the first blend mm -hmm. that gave me a kick that yes i want to do real estate full time mm -hmm. and that was the turning point in my life okay that was 22 years back Okay. From last 22 years, I have stuck on to the same business. Wow, wow, that's really interesting, uh, Gurani ji. Okay, so uh, Gurani ji, so what kind of customers or what kind of target audience you actually help with this real estate deals? And so from various backgrounds, so what are all the things? How you are actually serving your audience in this? Uh, domain? So a lot of them specialize in one aspect in real estate, but here. we give a total real estate solution to mm -hmm. anyone who walks into our office mm -hmm. be it buying or selling or joint development we give you all the options mm -hmm. so uh, the usp of my company is in two categories number mm -hmm. one we are very much focused in south bangalore mm -hmm. because i have been in jayanagar from the last 15 years mm -hmm. so uh, i can do anything and everything in south bangalore mm -hmm. beat a small requirement to a very large requirement mm -hmm. so somebody wants to invest 5 lakhs in mm -hmm. real estate or he wants to invest 500 crores we have all the options available for them mm -hmm. that is one mm -hmm. the second usp is i have been very very successful in uh, finalizing getting properties for developers mm -hmm. either on sale or joint development okay so i am in touch with all the developers of bangalore on a one to one level mm -hmm. because i am in this field from the last 22 years mm -hmm. and we have sourced more than 45 properties for all the leading developers of bangalore oh. you name the developer beat purvankara mm -hmm. or mantri or salarpuria chartered housing mm -hmm. we have been in touch with everybody mm -hmm. so that is my greatest usp mm -hmm. the other thing is selling apartments for them mm -hmm. uh we have been awarded as a realtor of the year okay by three of the top leading developers of bangalore wow so that's another usp so mm -hmm. uh, uh, developers come to us whenever they are launching a new project mm -hmm. and three of the top developers has awarded us as a realtor of the year wow wow that's really great yeah. wow so santosh ji just let's go back to 30 years back to your college days how was your college days and who were who were your role models during that time did you had the idea of being a businessman or getting into the business or ha had an idea of getting into job so what was your mindset during that time of college days to tell you frankly during college days my my aim was to just to enjoy college life mm -hmm. i had no goals no aspirations nothing mm -hmm. just wanted to finish my college life and then after college my mind was actually blank absolutely blank what to do next mm -hmm. so that's the reason i took up these two jobs to mm -hmm. know really what life is about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then i realized that my family required me in their business mm -hmm. so i joined the family business mm -hmm. and then i realized that you have to grow take up something new mm -hmm. to become big in life okay and that made me come out of my family business because we already had sufficient people in the family business mm -hmm. and for me real estate was the best option mm -hmm. because there is so much to explore mm -hmm. and you can really grow up in life in real estate this is why the why i took up real estate okay okay so uh, uh burani ji do you believe in the idea of that like if students are starting any business or if they want to start making money in the college do you think it is good when they are in college or do you think you they need money to make money so some students have that concept that yes i need the money to make money so how those people or the those students should start thinking about the business or thinking about a different kind of career so things are very different 30 years back and what it is now mm -hmm. okay 30 years back you needed money to make money mm -hmm. okay it that's the major concept thing but now things are so different okay 30 years back you say you finish your studies and then you can start you know uh, uh, earning mm -hmm. but if you see now 
you'll find that people who are in school also mm-hmm. are so knowledgeable mm-hmm. that they can develop apps mm-hmm. okay yeah, in yeah. school or even college going students okay so they can sit at home and develop apps or do something very creative okay. where they can start earning money and continue uh, studying also yeah, yeah so times are very different from then and now and definitely you don't require money to make money yeah uh, f- a simple example is you have so many people who want to who have a product who have an idea mm-hmm. and today you have so much so many in- angel investors yes, yes. who are there to help you out mm-hmm. and they are targeting these young students okay because their minds are very different very energetic mm-hmm. from what we had you know? Correct, correct, correct. So you mean to say that uh, the youngsters have a lot of opportunities right now, whatever they are. They have a lot of opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they want to really make it happen, if they are really committed, it is not a matter of money, it's a matter of their commitment level. Exactly. Yeah. Today's world is digital mm-hmm. and all the youngsters are hooked on to the mobiles and to the laptops. Mm-hmm. I think they just have to think little out of the box mm-hmm. and do differently something which nobody else has done mm-hmm. and they will be successful yeah yeah you have the world the whole world is there to support them mm-hmm. you just they require a new idea mm-hmm. and then the people are there to support them yeah so that's that's really a good idea from uh, from you sir so so burani ji so what advice do you like to give to the young generation right now so because sometimes with respect to the focus or with respect to the distraction so we are lost So what do you advise the young generation to be focusing on right now when they are in college so what they need to be doing when they are in college I think when they are in college uh, to enjoy college life definitely number one mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what i did mm-hmm. uh, secondly is uh, uh, try to focus on what do you like what do you love mm-hmm. because if you land up doing something which is not what you like or what you love mm. you're wasting your time correct 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 okay that passion should be there within you mm. Mm. Correct, okay correct so uh, i went into my family business because of obligation mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not because i had passion mm. so i couldn't stick around there more correct my passion was to meet people to network with people and to be on the field Mm-hmm. and that's why i have stuck on to this business for the last 22 years mm-hmm. to tell you a fact when i joined real estate the next after few months the market crashed it was one of the biggest falls in in real estate market mm-hmm. but that did not deter me to come out of real estate mm-hmm. i had the vision i had the trust i had the patience mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. stick on to that business mm-hmm. market picked up after a year or two mm-hmm. again after 5 years it crashed down mm-hmm. and most of them it was like a filtration period mm-hmm. lot of people who are not doing well came out and even i was not doing well mm-hmm. but the thing was i had that vision i had that trust in me mm-hmm. and uh, patience mm-hmm. that this is just a passing phase mm-hmm. and yeah. and, and i with stood that mm-hmm. okay and okay today i'm quite happy that I have seen not one, not two, but three bursts in the market, and I'm still doing strong. Yes, yes. So that's where we learn about the patience, persistence in the market. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, Santosh ji, you talked about the passion. So, but when it comes to the passion, with uh, with the kind of students what we are having, so they have their parents' pressure, so to get a job or to because they have the college loan, so you need to get the college loan to be cleared first. So they have the pressure of getting into the job making things happen there so what do you suggest for such kind of people where how do they pursue their passion during that time even though they have the pressure from their parental end so how do we how do they go with that i think uh, they may have to balance both the both of them mm-hmm. they don't have to suppress anything at all mm-hmm. if they have the pressure from the parents mm-hmm. it is important that they look into it Mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. but n- not come out of your passion mm-hmm. because that will kill you correct correct okay correct. and you just cannot go beyond your passion and leave the pressure behind mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Because they are the one who bought you up. They are the one who has spent money on you. Correct. Okay, so there has to be a balancing act mm-hmm. where you give time on both these aspects. Mm-hmm. Let time grow, mm-hmm. and then you will come to know yourself mm-hmm. that which is more advantage, mm-hmm. whether it's the thing what your parents are saying or the passion. Mm-hmm. And in the process, you will come to know mm-hmm. that. your passion is shifting towards the your family business mm-hmm. or the things what your family is doing mm-hmm. and you may suddenly realize that my passion is actually over there mm. or you may realize that my passion i want to take it up what come what may and you will slowly come out of that pressure and mm-hmm. start working on that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that time will talk but have that balancing act and don't give up on both the things mm-hmm. really nice uh, with respect to that so santosh ji i have been knowing you uh, you are into different kind of networks and i have been uh, seeing you there in uh, different kinds of networks with different uh, positions and also having the connections with lot of people so uh, how did you started that journey with or what do you suggest others to have or to be the great connector or the to have build a great network so what do you think is the main essential key ingredient character to be built in the youths i think uh, each one of us if you are a businessman you should be associated with at least two or three uh, organizations mm-hmm. be it uh, jcs or lions or rotary mm-hmm. or bni Mm-hmm. For me, BNI has done wonders. So I will suggest everyone who is a businessman to mm-hmm. be a part of BNI, mm-hmm. which is the world's largest referral organization. Mm-hmm. So that has changed my entire business. Mm-hmm. There is a chapter of Burani Real Estate before BNI and Burani Real Estate after BNI. Mm-hmm. This is what mm-hmm. I can say in just okay. a simple sentence. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So that's really fine. So uh, with respect to for the college students. So uh, what they should avoid doing when they are in college what do you think they should not do when they are in college in order to avoid any distraction something like that what they should not do uh, I think the number one distraction is getting into relationships <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, that's quite common but uh, yeah yeah because uh, it, it, you can't help it but you know getting into serious relationships Okay, that is one thing which is very distracted. Uh, okay, you have a good time, but uh, you should know where to draw a line. Uh, the other thing is know the value of money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Correct. Just because money is available at your source, that doesn't mean uh, because only when you start earning, you will come to know what is the value of that money. Mm-hmm. You may be getting money easily today because your parents are giving you whatever you want. Mm. start earning something mm-hmm. because once you start earning and you know that this comes at the end of the month mm. okay. whether you're earning 2000 or 5000 or 10000 and how you're spending that mm. then you will definitely come to the value of money yeah uh, start make, making small goals which are achievable mm-hmm. not big ones mm-hmm. think big mm-hmm. but take s- small steps mm-hmm. you can think big Okay, mm-hmm. but take small steps. You say that a lot of people they ask, how do you eat an elephant? Mm-hmm. You definitely can't an eat an elephant. Mm-hmm. But the answer is very simple. Mm-hmm. You eat an elephant bite by bite. Mm-hmm. Similarly, you start taking small steps, mm-hmm. and you never know that you will achieve a big goal. Correct, 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 correct. Yeah. yeah so uh, with respect to the habits because we know that habits are the one we are the creatures of habits so what habits do you recommend for the youths in order to inculcate it daily or what are the habits do you have inculcated in your life to be successful as a businessman the one simple word is honesty mm. i think if you develop that word you don't have to develop any other attitude at, at all Mm-hmm. because if you're honest to yourself honest to other people honest in business mm-hmm. that will take you miles and miles mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i think honesty is the simple factor mm-hmm. 
So that's really a powerful word which we word which we got for this podcast. Really powerful. So thank you so much, Burani ji, for getting us the podcast for this and giving the valuable insights to our young. Thanks. Thank you so much. But before I sign off, I would like to give you a simple tagline of my company, mm-hmm. which I have developed over the uh, years, is mm-hmm. that I believe in delivering hundred percent success from a one percent possibility. Mm-hmm. This is my simple tagline. That mm-hmm. if you see a one percent possibility, that is a hundred percent success. Thank mm-hmm. you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Varun Ji. Thank. You.